you have been someone that uh, has felt very, very, um, uh, I would say, um, put a lot of emphasis and felt very strongly that the role of the school building in America uh, is more critical than ever to kids uh, as in regards to both health equity, food security. Uh, and oftentimes I've heard you say that school buildings in America are the great equalizer. Speak to me about why you feel so strongly about the role that schools play uh, in that regard. Well, um, Alexis, as you probably remember, I, I grew up uh, in a home where neither of my parents finished elementary school, but they were very serious about the education of their children. Even though we had a 40 acre farm to take care of, they made it very clear that education was a priority. Uh, so was it that interaction that I had between home and school that made the difference in my life? Uh, I learned a lot. I became a serious student. When Dr. Jackson, the, the doctor who saved my life at the age of two, when he died before I got a chance to meet him, uh, I decided that I wanted to be a physician like Dr. Jackson, even though I had no idea what that would take. I believed I could do it. My parents were the kind of parents who made it clear to us that education was a priority, that even though they didn't, they were not able to get an education, they prioritized it for their children. And so I was fortunate in that regard. I continued to value education. I also value the experience that we had in working with schools. And I forget now how many thousands of schools uh, GN Youth works with throughout the country. And, uh, but it's very critical that we continue it because uh, there's so many of the, the challenges that we face can only be met if we engage the schools. Uh, there are communities in this country where children are not able to find safe places to play. There are homes where parents are not providing good nutrition. So the schools play that role of filling the gap. And I hope we can continue to do that in terms of, of uh, the needs of children.